I realized that um, allowing this to happen, letting our breath be an exciting, joyful experience, um, it requires choice. And I created one of my lists about what those letters represent to me. So in the word choice, the first word is C. The first letter is C. So stay conscious and content that you are alive and stay, what's the other, committed. So I, I have a few words for all these letters. So you're conscious, committed, and content. You make a choice to be those things. You actively say, I will be committed and I will choose. The H, stay hungry. Hungry to allow more life to come into your life and stay humble and honorable. Those are wonderful ways to, to create a place for the gathering of love in the heart and to allow people to see what's possible. But for your own capacity too, when you stay humble and honorable and holy, then there's the choice is consistently made to allow something of life to be honored, to be reciprocated to. I will do these things because life has been given to me and I am a part of life. And that's the way in which I honor the fact that I'm part of life. So the O, the O is the, the openness and the orientation, keeping myself oriented to the source of being, to the source of love, allowing myself, my heart to be open to that which is freely given and not to say, no, <laughs> no, I'm going to do it my way. So I guess another O could be obedient to that source of love, obedient, open, and oriented. What a, what a wonderful way to be available to be reciprocating the gifts that are given. The I, intentional. Be intentional in allowing the impulse of your love to move out. It's a choice. We can receive all this love and do nothing with it or feel like it's all for us instead of for our beloved community that we are part of. Intentionally allowing the impulse to be in the world because you're still alive, taking that deep breath and being triumphantly present in the, um, the joy of, of knowing. So we come to another C which I think of as compassion. Compassion for the fact that we have um, a world that is confused, disoriented, and not choosing to do this. We have compassion for the, the processes our own heart goes through from either things from the past that have made us um, protective or compassion for the fact that we have not practiced this as long as we um, may have hoped, and so that we're still at times stumbling or tripping or looking like a beginner or practicing how to be triumphant and full of life. Is there a risk? I suppose the risk is you might overwhelm somebody by your joy. I, I suppose the risk is that you might have to let go of the dour parts of yourself that don't serve you. I suppose the, the risk is that something new will be born and you'll um, have this experience of welcoming it and in some circumstances be uncertain what to do other than to continually make the, cho the choice to stay consciously oriented and inviting of that possibility. And so for the E in this word, I had lots of words. Enjoy it, express it, be eager and be enthusiastic. Why not? I mean, you can do, you can be, um, all kinds of things that take you in the direction of being um, internally protecting the love that's in the harbor. Or you can know that because the source of love is consistent and constant, as long as you can take that triumphant breath, that source of love is still coming 360, 24 seven. So at times things may come on your screen where you feel they need some attention or there's some pain there. It doesn't mean that the other 320 degrees around you isn't still being infused by the love that's constant. It's even coming through that thing that looks painful or distracting. But at times we need to remind ourselves we are triumphantly allowing the amen of our joy to be expressed into the world. 